Fish Mobile. This is the uh, RF MAB2 uh, wireless stereo headset with built-in microphone and it runs over Bluetooth. <clears throat> As you know, Bluetooth has many uses. In this video, I'm going to be using it with my iPhone 4S. It says four star. I got this at Best Buy Mobile. It's a smaller version of Best Buy that only sells like cell phone stuff. So it says right here, uh, four star Best Buy rating. BestBuy.com rating. People said it was awesome, stunning audio, and oh my god. Well, we'll get down to that. Uh, let's go around the box. As you can see, those are the headphones there. Let's see. Nice, slick finish. Piano black with some um, plastic. It's all plastic, by the way. Uh, you got the call button, the play pause. What is that right there? That is the uh, volume up and volume down. The box is really glossy, by the way. That's why you can't really see it that well. You have that little white, the little rubber thing is the microphone. You have the back button and the forward button and then a old 5-pin charging port. Um, on the front it says wireless stereo headset with built-in mic, Bluetooth logo. On the side it's in Spanish telling you what comes in the box. What actually comes in the box is a stereo headset which is that. The USB charging cable, the USB cable, the AC adapter which is kind of like one of these. If you've never seen them before. It's an adapter. And then you get the user's manual which we'll go through. On the back it says Rocket Fish Mobile. Two people, apparently their lives are very surrounded by this headset. Stereo headset, um, listen to music and talk on the phone wirelessly. Music playback 12 hours, talk time 14 hours. It uses Bluetooth uh, version 2.1 which means stereo. And then uh, it uses those frequencies. And uh, basically they all mean it works with laptops and cell phones and uh, the PS3 controller. Wireless range, about 10 meters, changes versus it. Noise, okay, so now this is actually why I kind of got this, is because it has four audio settings. It can reduce the noise around you, it can um, add uh, just the echo effect, and then the wide adds like the speakers are kind of farther away from you, and then the low actually uh, turns up the bass boost. Then the rest is in Spanish, and then you see two people there. So let's open up the box. I already used these, by the way, so the packaging might not be as the same. So you open that up, it's kind of confusing a little. You have that top part, then you have this bottom part. All right, so let me just put this down for a second. Now, it has a little tab you kind of pull on, but I'm not gonna pull on that. All right, so the box is kind of fragile. All right, so there is the headset itself. Okay, so let me get my camera. All right, so there's the headset, which we'll get to later. It's not really being held by anything. Okay, now all your instructions are in these two compartments. So let's go to the bottom one. They kind of just slide out. In these things, they're kind of annoying, especially with one hand in the camera. So, so let me get this out. Okay. So there is your. You have this little power adapter I was talking to you about. Now this actually charges it really slow because if I can get a focus on here I can show you what I mean. Uh, it says it charges it at or whatever it says uh, input AC 110 1240 volts and then it says uh, it charges at uh, 5 volts but at 500 milliamps so it's kind of slow. It comes with the USB cable I was talking about. And uh, when you do buy this, depending on where you buy it, it comes uh, fully charged. So, because it's a different, it's not lithium ion battery, it's like lithium polymer. Which I heard are dangerous if they're overheated, but whatever. And since this is a video review, I can damage the packaging. Okay, so, in here, what you get are two other ear pads, in case you need to replace them. You get the English instructions and Spanish instructions. So 
move that to the side. So um, let's get into the instructions. Let me just open these up for you. Okay. So um, we start off with this side. It says a uh, quick setup guide, stereo headset. And then it says, um, congratulations on your purchase, if you've ever owned one of these, whatever. Shows you where the volume is, um, logo with LED, receiver, which is the microphone, another receiver, which are the speakers, play pause button, power and talk, USB port, uh, forward and backward, and microphone. Package contents, I already went through those, which we're reading, I guess. Turning the headset on and off, hold that uh, call button. It says pairing. If you do come across a password, it's four zeros. Okay, so this tip, like for iPhone, you can use Siri. You can just press it once, the call button, and it will uh, call up Siri. Redial, press talk twice. Most of these don't work with iPhone. I think they're work, they work better with BlackBerry, uh, but they don't always work with iPhone. Although the music player is actually really good because these all match iPhone. So, yeah. Uh, LED statuses, blue means on, turning off, red dims and disappears, low battery, the red keeps blinking, recharging, the red stays on, recharge complete, the blue stays on, pairing mode, red and blue flash really quickly, rapidly, connection complete, blue LED flashes every two seconds, and uh, don't think that this is going to continue flashing while you use it because it doesn't to save battery. Receiving a call, blue LED flashes rapidly, not on the iPhone, the iPhone just keeps vibrating and you hear your ringtone through the speakers. Talking on the phone, blue LED brightens and dims repeatedly, You don't. that doesn't really happen on iPhone. Okay, Bluetooth version 2.1, so it works with iPhone 4S and uh, hopefully later. It is backwards compatible with uh, Bluetooth 3, which is I think going to come out. Um, you don't really need to know all this stuff, I guess. Frequency. 2.4 to 2.48, 35, whatever. It's going to interfere with Wi-Fi. And uh, just some notes. So, that's we'll see it on the product. Now let's go to the headphones. On the headphones, you'll find that this is actually really sturdy construction. It's actually really nice and, uh, just nice and, it's they're nice to have on your ears. Although this part kind of worries me because it's really thin. These you wear behind your head, so uh, your ears are right here. And then the back of your head is right here. They don't go over it. And then your ears slide between these things. And they're they're really comfortable. Now, when I first put them on, I was actually in the car listening to the radio. And I found out that the radio actually dimmed out. And what I found out was um this, if I can go back into this manual here. It has <clears throat> four built-in noise functions. So it says um, to enable 3D sounds. Let me try to get a good focus on that. To enable 3D sounds while playing music, you double tap the um, play and pause button and it'll go from normal to noise cancelling to live which uh, it adds some echo to wide it adds some kind of echo that doesn't last long, some reverb and then low it um, turns up the bass. Now these, um, these headphones aren't for sound quality per se, they're just for uh, using them um, like let's say you're gonna go to the gym, they're not for sound quality. If you're gonna look for sound quality, go for like some Pioneers or maybe Skull Candies if you're into them. They kind of break quickly if you've seen my other videos. But let's see how these stand out. So uh, they have a big logo on here. This part does nothing. The battery is inside this part, by the way. And then here, here's all the circuitry. And then you plug it in through there and then it runs a cable to the battery. So if you break that side off, you have no, no usable thing anymore. Now you have this call button. Play pause. The um, left and right, or uh, forward and backward, in case you want to skip or go back. And then you have the volume buttons. So let's go ahead and uh, turn this on and pair it with my iPhone. So using the iPhone, let me just open this up here. Here's my iPhone. Hit setting. Oh yeah. Hit settings. General. Bluetooth. Let me just forget the device to show you how it works, because I did use this with my iPhone. Um, let's uh, forget this device. Are you sure? Yeah. Sorry, I'm not focusing on the screen that well. Okay, so let's turn this on. You hold this for six seconds, and it starts blinking really fast to pair it. So, uh, if you heard that sound. Okay, now it's blinking. 
Now it's going to ask me for a pin. It's four zeros. And then you press pair. It should say connected. And I also use like my wireless keyboard and my TomTom -tom with it. Um, well, it pairs. It takes some time though. Come on. Alright, connected. And uh, these make a bunch of sounds like when you first turn them on and they connect, it does like a piano chord up. When they turn off, they do a piano chord down, kind of like a window sound. So, um, let's try to play some music. I hope, hopefully, I won't uh, get killed. So, I'm just going to play some house music that probably nobody knows about. So, uh, yeah, as you heard, they kind of beep. Now, what I like is that you can control the volume on here. And then this has its own independent volume. That means it's at full volume. Uh, there's no mute, so uh, if you have, unless you pause the music or turn this all the way down, there is no mute on the headset. Or unless you put, press the play pause button. These are kind of laggy, but again, they are Bluetooth. So let's see how loud these things get. Play pause button. Yeah. Let's see if I can get Siri on. Let me just turn off my Wi Fi. Alright, so let's get Siri going. So let's see if I can, um, <clears throat> using this headset, um, when you use Siri, you can't just press it again to activate it. You actually have to wait for it to respond. So if I say, hello. You have to like press it, so it's not fully working. Hi, so um, yeah, I guess it uh, it works pretty well. If you're walking, it kind of already does this for you. But again, if it's like a quiet room, it doesn't understand if you're talking or not. Um, versus the music, what I kind of don't get because I don't really use um Bluetooth head, head headsets is that um. The music sounds fine, but then when you're in a call, it kind of sounds crushy. I think that's usually because I never have five bars, unless I'm at home. But uh, other than that, these headphones are actually pretty well. I've uh, worn these for about three hours, and I, my ears didn't get tired or fatigue or whatever that is. But um, you have the... Let me show you how the music player works, just so you know. So uh, here is uh, some Dead Mouse. If I press the uh, forward button... It uh, skips through the um, music, as you can see there. So if I ever press play, it also tells me what I'm using. So um, let's go through the effects. Let me show you what they are. You, yeah, I won't think you would be able to hear them, but uh. So as you heard there, it added kind of some uh, echo, and what I kind of like is that if you have the echo on, it's post fader kind of echo. So if you turn the volume all the way down, it kind of stays in your headphones. So it's kind of nice having all that stuff. Uh, this is actually built pretty well. I haven't done any audio tests, so I probably will when I hook it up to my MacBook. People say they've had a lot of trouble hooking this up to a Windows 7 computer. I don't know why, but... um. It works. I haven't tried it on my Mac yet doing some recordings. I probably might use this uh, headset for um, my videos if I do uh, voiceovers with my iMovie or with my ScreenFlow application. But um, other than that, this is actually a pretty good uh, headset versus the other ones. This one was, um, how much did this cost me? I think it was $60, and uh, it actually came with warranty. So if you take $10 off of that, it was about $50. <clears throat> Uh, this is actually a really good headset because it actually isolates noise, which that's, I really like that. When you put these on, they're not like Bose headphones where they isolate like total noise, but since they do have the microphone on, when you're in a call, it actually uh, takes the noise out. Um, when you're listening to music, it takes the noise out, but when you pause it, you can hear everything around you, which I kind of like. It's actually really nice, and it comes from, with some replacement ones. It comes with one-year warranty. And uh, other than that, this is a really good headset. They're kind of small, though, and for people that have a big head I would say these these aren't adjustable 
and people say that this part is being held on by glue but i'm not going to treat these really bad but um other than that thank you guys for watching i know that i kind of rambled on in this video but i hope you like me reviewing these headphones um i might try it with my mac and see how it works but other than that thank you guys for watching it means a lot give me a thumbs up to you 3310 subscribe to me please and uh hopefully i can get this video up to you really quickly other than that thank you guys for watching it means a lot